Hi everyone, today we're going to learn a way of doing multiplication called the partial products algorithm. And this is a way to help you do multiplication that is two or more digits times one or more digits. We can break this down really quick. Partial basically just means a part of. Products, if you remember products, when you have a multiplication number model, the two numbers you multiply together are called the factors. And the number you get from multiplying the two factors together, or more factors together, is called the product. And finally, the word algorithm. This just means a step-by-step -step way of doing something. Um, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step way of doing math in this case. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we have 34 times 2, and we're going to use the partial products algorithm to solve this. We are going to multiply 2 by each digit of 34. There's only 2, so it's not that hard. So we start by doing 2 30s, the tens place. And if you know 2 times 3 is 6, then you know 2 times 30 is 60. So we can write that over at the side. And then we do 2 times the 1's place, which is 4. So 2 4's. Think about that for a minute. 2 times 4. 2 4's is 8. And when we write 8, we want to make sure it lines up. So I'm not going to put the 8 there in the 10's place. It's going to be in the 1's place. And then we just add the numbers together. So 34 times 2 is 68. Let's try another one. Now we have 83 times 5. So again, first we go 5 times the tens place. So 5 80s this would be. And this is when knowing your multiplication facts is so useful. We know 5 times 8 is 40. So 5 times 80 must be 400. And now we need 5 threes next. And 5 times 3 would give us 15. Make sure your 10's place and your 1's place lines up. Then we add and get our answer. 83 times 5 is 415. Now, I recommend you start doing this to help you figure out what you're doing so you can see your steps and so your teacher or whoever can see your steps but once you get good you can even skip this part and just do the partial products over here so let's take a look at that so here we've got 55 times 6 and we know first we're going to do 6 times 50 and 6 times 50 would give us 300 and next we have 6 times 5, which is going to give us 30. And I add those together for the final product. Uh, if I did decide to do the other method where I'm writing everything out, it would have looked like this. And again, when starting out, I would recommend doing this all, every time, just so, we can see your, so you can see your own thinking and where the numbers came from. And you'd have an arrow going there to show that. Those examples were all two digits times one digit. Uh, we, if we do three digits times one digit, we just are going to now have three products to add together instead of two. So this one, 214 times seven, would look like this. First of all, the seven 200s would give me seven times two is 14, and tack these onto the end, 1,400. Next up, I'll do the tens always making sure my place values line up and finish it off with the ones place and then you need to add them all together So this is a start for partial products algorithm. Uh, all of these had either two digits times one digit 
or three digits times one digit. You could do four or five digits times one digit. When you add a second digit here, it changes things, and we can cover that later. But I think right now, this should give you an introduction to the partial products algorithm. Thank you.